What for? It's just an experiment. Not a big deal, really. Will it bother you? No, I suppose not. Is something wrong? You look flushed. Oh, wrong? Oh, no, nothing. My guitar lessons ran late, that's all. How are they coming? What? Your guitar lessons. You must be getting pretty good by now. Oh, no, I'm still horrible. Well, I'd love to hear you play sometime. Oh, I definitely need more practice. You know, I'm really glad you called. I've been thinking a lot about you. Have you? You sort of lost touch lately. I know what you mean. Whatever happened to being joined at the hip? Movies with the gang, concerts. You weren't at Jeremy's party, and I'd hoped you'd come apple picking with us, but you vanished. You've been almost invisible. I've been so busy. Too many papers to write, lots of time at the library. I've been working too many hours at the store. Totally feels like I have no time for anything fun anymore. Why are you doing that? Oh, I told you, it's an experiment. I'm trying to understand something. About speech? About conversation? It's really annoying to have people clicking, interrupting every single... What is this all about? I'm sorry it's bothering you. I know you like things quiet, inside and out. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. See, that's what I don't like. It's so condescending when you do that, that tone of voice, like you know so much more than me. I know you're smart, Sarah. We all know you're smart, but... You're mad at me. No, 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 I'm not mad. How could I be? You're sweet. You mean well. I'm just... I'm just insecure, that's all. You're not going to stop that, are you? No, it's really helping me. It helps me pay attention to what you're saying, deeply. I deeply want to understand you, Rita. And that little clicker of yours is going to help? Sort of. You've been acting so weird lately. How would you know? You've been avoiding me. I've not been avoiding you. We've just been missing each other. But I uh, heard from the others you were acting differently. Who? What have they been saying? They say you're in some sort of odd mental whirlpool. One minute you're laughing, and the next you're in a deep depression. You wander off in the middle of conversations. I didn't think I'd been acting any differently. People have noticed. I uh, talked with Julie about you. She has a theory. Enlighten me. She thinks you're in love. And not with Jake. <laughs> is that what she thinks? Even Jake is curious. He says you seem kind of distant. You talked with my boyfriend about me? Uh, just in passing. And he thinks I'm interested in someone else? He didn't say that, not exactly. But uh, when you talk with enough people, it's easy to get this impression. I can sort of piece it together from afar, really. I mean, I know how it goes. You've been together for a long time. Sometimes people lose interest. Maybe you're just a little bored. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Am I in the middle of a fling? That's what I love about you, Rita. You're out there. Your best and worst quality, without a doubt. Truly amazing. Am I cheating on Jake? Are you? Why do you want to know? I'm concerned and curious. Sympathetic even. I'm your friend. I'm glad to have someone to look out for me. That's all I want. Just to be sure that you're okay. That everything's okay between you and Jake. And what if I say that I'm fine? That we're fine? That we're ecstatic? Is it true? It could be. Then I'd be very happy for you. constitutes the basis of friendship? What? Trust. And I'd like to think that I earned your trust. You're not the only one who's been talking with Julie. Did you know she has the same theory about you? That you're the one with the new man? <laughs> Where on earth did she get that idea? Well, I'm not the only one who's been distracted, but instead of being depressed, you've been giddy. Bouncing around the room, flushed with excitement. You've been ducking friends, making excuses. It's crazy, you're not seeing anyone. Sarah, we're talking about something really important and you're clicking. It's driving me nuts. Eleven. What? That's how many lies you've told since you arrived. What lies? I don't know what you're talking about. Stop that. Your guitar lessons ended two months ago. That's not true. <laughs> I'm going to take it away. Your new secret? Your fellow member of the Stolen Moments Club is my boyfriend. I don't know who. That's just not true. Who told you? They're lying. It's not like something I planned. It's just that he said that you. He said that we. I. I never meant to hurt you. Fifteen. Just can't stop. Can't
can you? Give me the clicker, Sarah. No. Give me the clicker. Never. We are going to talk about this without some annoying little clicker interrupting every single... Give me the clicker or I'll take it away. As long as I have this little counter in my hand, I can remain in control. I have a small physical space on which to concentrate. This clicker is the difference between me standing here chatting with you and me leaping over the table and choking the life out of you. Ha, 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 ha.